Hello again everyone. Uh, so after installing the basic structure of uh, our React application and taking a look on the, the uh, source folder and the basic files, so let's uh, let's create our first uh, component. So inside source folder, I will create a new folder called components, and inside components. Let's create a file with uh, a first letter must be capital letter, so text one dot js. So inside this file, to create a component, first we have two types of components. Uh, we have a class-based component and we have a function-based components. So uh, we will know the basic differences between those two. Uh, first, let's to create a class-based component. Um, to create a class-based component, first we need to import uh, React and component from React, React package. And then we create the class uh, with the name of our file, which uh, must be identical to the file name. So text one and extends this class from components. There's no from here. Okay. Actually, it's not components, it's components. Sorry about that. Okay. And inside the class uh, body, we need to uh, call a method called render. And inside render, we return, we return the HTML. So uh, let's create uh, an element paragraph with uh, text of hello from text one and then after that we should export default text one uh, we need to export our file to be able to uh, to import it inside another file so after saving we go to app and we need to import our new uh, component uh, we will call it text one from so we are inside source we need to go to components folder and inside we have text one and to use uh, the component we should insert it inside uh, inside our uh, render method so let's uh, insert our component uh, to use the component you should use it as a tag in HTML uh, with the name of your component so uh, our name is text one and with the close uh, tag so after saving we have no errors so let's go and see our application we have uh, our new component uh, successfully being uh, inserted uh, inside our application so this is uh, this is a basic uh, simple uh, component uh, and this is an example how to create a component and uh, in the use it insert it inside your application so this is the class based component so let's create a, a function based component so to create a function based component basically uh, it's not a class it's it's uh, it's a function so uh, let's change to constant and uh, I will create an arrow function with uh, an ESX ES6 uh, uh, ES6 module. Sorry, let's 
react, we keep react, and we don't need component. And we use, uh, we don't have any method here. We just return uh, our text. That's it. We create, uh, we create a function, and then we return uh, the text or the uh, component body inside inside return. So after saving, we having no errors, and we also uh, having the same uh, component. So if we if we change uh, the text function component and save so we have we have our our component uh, being inserted uh, successfully so this is uh, uh, the base the basic syntax and the differences between uh, class based and function based uh, so also there's a, a huge difference uh, between uh, function and, and the class based uh, components uh, which is that uh, in function based component you cannot uh, use states inside uh, your component uh, which is why uh, it's called stateless component so you can't use states uh, inside your uh, function based component it's simply a static uh, a static uh, component um, uh, you you just uh, can use props and you uh, simply insert it uh, with with the, with the props of your of your component and use it inside inside your uh, inside your component where in class based component of course you have uh, or you can use states uh, inside your component so if you it's it's up to you to use function or uh, class based uh, if you have states in inside your uh, component you you have or you must use class based component and if you don't have states uh, you just have props or something you you don't need to use a class based component you simply can create uh, a function based component and uh, for react function based component it's um, using or, or it's helping uh, the rendering methods and and uh, the rendering uh, process and it's boosting the performance of your app uh, makes it uh, much uh, faster than the uh, than uh, when you use a class based component so this is a performance difference and there's a syntax difference uh, and also there's a, a structure uh, difference where you can use states or you can't you can't uh, use states so that's it for uh, this video i believe so uh thank you and see you later